back again. I just want to show you um, the two handles that I've machined for the carriage wheel on the TAIG and you can see I can I drill down through uh, to, to this end and I drilled it with a 128 uh, a drill bit uh, 0.128 um, this diameter here the thinnest diameter here where are we here um, that's uh, that measures 170 so um, there's a little bit of a, a fairly thin wall there but it should be strong enough I'm, I'm pretty sure so what I'm doing now is um, I have some uh, 304 stainless I like I like machining stainless um, and uh, what I'm doing is I'm making two headed pins uh, axles or pins whatever you want to call it that will uh, go down through the center and have a, a small head on the on the outside end here and hopefully it should look something like this on this small one that I made for the cross slide uh, I think it looks quite quite nice actually so that's what I'm trying to achieve on this one obviously it's a heavier handle because uh, it, it moves the carriage along uh, so that's what I'm doing at the moment so I'll just um, uh, I've, I've got this sticking out uh, quite a long way and what I'm doing is I'm um, I'm machining it down in sections uh, because it's sticking out so far and uh, I'm leaving about 10 thou on that diameter there uh, I'm going to machine it all the way down and then I'm going to turn it around and do exactly the same on the other end that's inside here and uh, then I'll be able to uh, uh, machine the spindle down to size probably about 126 something like that and um, leave a, uh, machine the head a small thin head uh, and then I can part off uh, at the very end and then that leaves me um, uh, plenty of support inside the collet um, you don't want to grip on the outs outside end of the collet uh, unless you put something in the same size behind uh, because that would put a lot of stress on the collet so um, I'm leaving it uh, this length and uh, then I'll part off when both shafts are finished so that's what I'm doing at the moment I'm taking about 20 thou on a cut uh, that's 10 thou each side solely because it's sticking out so far and um, uh, I don't want it to ride up over the tool bit so I'll just switch on now I'm running at uh, I'm running at uh, almost 1200 rpm but by the time I start cutting it drops down to about 900 um, this is just the uh, the Sherline DC motor that I have on there and uh, it has its limitations on power um, so that's what I'm doing at the moment okay uh, I like uh, stainless um, I find that you generally get a a pretty nice finish on it and it's not that difficult to to machine uh, it all needs to be pretty good pretty sharp um, I don't find HSS a, a, a problem at all uh, um, 
I, I have a couple of carbide bits, but uh, see, as I as I get towards the the collet end, the further I move in, the less flex there is on the uh, on the cut. Now that's a a bit big. probably go all the way down on this one. And 20. There's a 30 thou cut. See how that goes. Does it okay? Not bad. Let's take in 15 thou off the side, 30 thou total. Now bearing in mind that these are, are tiny lathes, it's, it's quite, um, it's to a, to a novice or to a newcomer, I'm sure it's uh, very satisfying to be able to take. There's 40 thou, we'll see what that does. It's going to make a bit of noise, a little bit of chatter there maybe. But on the whole, I mean, it's cutting it fine. Um, I think that any, anybody can Unless you're in production, you can easily get away with high-speed uh, high steel um, uh, uh, tool bits. There's nothing wrong with them. You might have to sharpen them a little bit more, but I think this is probably a Chinese uh, tool bit. I'm not sure. I have lots of little tool bits that I've accumulated over the years and uh, some of them uh, are very uh, good brands. Uh, I bought some Chinese stuff, that seems to work okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't quite know, I think, I think sometimes that uh, we're all influenced by industry and the retailers that tell us that we have to have carbides. There's no alternative. And uh, um, I mean, if I put a carbide in here and, and took a big cut, this motor would just stop anyway. You, you need lots of power for carbide. Um, so. I think it's six of one and a half, it does the other, personally. Nothing wrong with that. There you go. So, now, this is going to go in here. That gives me a little bit of, that gives me quite a bit of, uh, to adjust, uh, entry into the, into the 3.8 ball. And, uh, I believe the hole in the ball is is just over 0.1, so I'll be able to turn down the the front end here to fit the ball and to adjust for play backwards and forwards on the handle so that it doesn't bind and it revolves freely. So. Um, Okay, we'll take it out now. I never, that's another thing, I never yank up on these collets. Um, they, uh, okay, let's see, this one's got a, 
this odd piece has got a bit of a hole in it so I'll have to remove that but now this is going to go in further I hope yeah because the it goes through the uh, it should be inch and a quarter Okay, so we'll do a bit more, do the other end, That is a bit more than 20 thou anyway. See, it's running at just under a thousand on that cut. Uh, when I release it, it's 1200, just over 1200. So as you can see, stainless, a 304, 303, is, uh, is pretty nice to machine. That's a fairly big cut. See what happens, eh? There you go. Just 60 south. That's pretty good. I, I, I don't think you can complain about that. The stain is still. So Got 
40 sour to come off. That's pretty nice. Let's try that. Probably make a noise. There you go, 70 pounds. Put the RP on a little bit. That's at 1400. There you go, nothing wrong with that, is there? Ordinary HSS. Take it right down to, let's see, I don't want to take too much off. Oh, so, my advice is don't be scared to use stainless. It's not much difference to grill rod or what they call it in England. Uh, there you go. Twenty thou oversize. 
So I have 20,000 to take off of there. Hopefully. Right. Yeah, just needs a bit of a rub down. Some high spots there. <sighs> Okay, we can rub it down. Um,
that's that. So that's how I go about things and um, usually it works out not too bad. So I'll uh, call off now and finish the other one. Thank you.